Darien Gap, the world's deadliest jungle, a 60-mile stretch of untouched wilderness that connects Panama with Colombia. To this very day, it has no roads, no towns, no laws, nothing but venomous snakes, tropical diseases and narco gangs. Despite that, every year, hundreds of thousands of migrants from all over the world converge in northern Colombia to traverse the deadly jungle. I was warned by the authorities that if I entered, I would be risking robbery, kidnapping, or even something worse. However, despite this, I decided to join a group of migrants and secretly record our journey through the deadliest migrant route, the Darien. Violan mujeres, violan... Yo digo que eso es una ruleta. Eso es una ruleta así. Ese Darío. Ay, 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 amigos. We are in Medellín. Oh. Señor, quiero ir a Necoclín. Vamos a Necoclín y comenzar la aventura. Vamos. Vamos a ver, guys. Men, me and Mr. Calvo, señor Calvo, we're in Medellín. And now we're going to the bus station. Hopefully we find the bus. And we go to Neco Clean, northeast of Colombia, border with Panama, was the starting point of all the Venezuelan immigrants. Oh guys, this guy goes the same place, Darien. Ah, you already know about Darien. ¿Cuándo te vas? Compañero, hoy. Hoy vas. Hoy en la noche. ¿Con qué? Bus. Con bus. Dale, papá. Dios lo bendiga, bro. Chao, man. Hopefully they have tickets. This specific location, Neco Clean, it's almost every day fully booked because of all the Venezuelan immigrants. Uf, otra vez por Darien. ¿Vas a Darien tú? Otra vez. Segunda vez. No. Por qué segunda te deportaron? Yes. Oh no. You know he, he got deported, that's why. Sí. De de dónde? De Panamá. De Montreal. Es venezolano. Y es peligroso, Darien. No sé, no sé. No. Pero bro, ahí hay guerrilla. Hay guerrilla. Hay guerrilla. And this guy already been to USA, already crossed the Darien jungle. He got deported, and now he goes back again. He said it's very dangerous, and he said if we see narcos or guerrilla points. We need to say we're from a different country. If we make it alive, you will see the video. If not, you will see the news. Dos billetes, dos tickets por Neco Clean. Sí, me prestan los pasaportes, por favor. Eh, 20 bucks each. Entonces, posible que cuando caminamos, vendo una guerrilla con armas. No, guerrilla no son indios. 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 Y te roban con armas. Okay guys, we enter the bus. Listo. Listo para aventuras. It's gonna be now how many? Seven hours? Más o menos. In this bus. Next to each other. Can you speak English here? Hey! I'm bilingual! I'm bilingual! Professor of English. I'm bilingual. Bilingual? Thank you, Pa. Pero bien. Ay, bro. Eh, mal, me asesoraron ahorita hace rato. No digan que no hablen inglés, eh, no hablen. Aquí, aquí ahora, ¿no? Aquí nada. Bro. Soy venezolano, venezolano. Y él es de Rusia, ¿no? Y that's the guy from the bus station in Medellín. He says everything is fine, but if we see the guerrilla or narco people, I have to say I'm from Venezuela. Because if they realized we are foreigners or YouTubers. Then it gets dangerous. Un cubano dejó a su mamá. La mamá se rebaló y cayó abajo en un río. Quedó en la selva y y él se fue y cuando llegó a Estados Unidos dijo que estaba muerta y la mamá era mentira. Fui le quitó el bolso con la no plata y muerto. la medicina y dejó la mamá. Dejó la mamá allá. La abandonó. La familia del tipo lo quieren matar. Obvio. Y se lo vas a ver personas. Duró cuatro días haitiano, sin que nadie la ayudara muerto, y aguantó. ¿Por qué sin comer nada. Porque lo roban. O sea, los ladrones. Y, y están solos. Y se cohiben, o sea, se ponen a discutir con los ladrones. 
y entonces los ladrones los matan y los ahí. A guy who talks with his friend who knows someone who can get us to another city. I don't really know, man. The thing is, you cannot really trust anyone here. But if you don't trust anyone, then nothing can happen. So we need to trust some people, and hopefully all good. Guys, there are more people here from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Vietnam. Families. All right, guys. 6 a.m. In the whole town here, it's been run by mafia. So we need to be careful. Now we came here. We want to buy stamp for the jungle. Yes. Yeah, guys, that's the sleepy bank and the tent. This one's a baby, no? <laughs> guys, that's the liquid that can protect us in the jungle from all the animals, insects. How are we gonna sit together in the same tent? We're too big. It looks like a child's tent. I think when we open it, we don't fit we're it. definitely not gonna film. In, we're not gonna fit inside. Six for both of us. And also, we're probably gonna get girls. So where are we gonna fit the girls in our tent? I go to their tent. <laughs> <laughs> we're here in the market. We take the basic stuff. Hungry leg. One, one. Guys, basically we're just buying tuna, atún, and bread. The whole city here is monetizing and profiting of the immigrants. We're in the port. It looks okay, but there's a lot of mafia people here. Look, mafia. Careful the camera, he's pointing the camera. Dodgy faces. Careful, careful. They're seeing you with the camera, that guy over on your right, he's looking at you with the camera. No way. Yeah, yeah, just be careful. No, chicos, 140, no, 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 no. We are Necoclin, the spot where all the immigrants from Venezuela and other parts of the world are coming, and then they take in boats to go over there. That's the Darien jungle, man. Okay. Ah, sí. Gratis. Oh, guys, the guy just gave us these pills so we can throw them inside the water because all the water in the Darien, they say it's contaminated and we might get sick. Thankfully, this guy now saved us and gave us for free some pills. I never thought about it. El vapor Darien. El vapor Darien. Sí. No. Puede. El, el niño. Pero va a ganar poco a poco, ¿no? No, alzado. Alzado, cargado. Nosotros queremos que se regue Venezuela para no estar saliendo más. Mira cómo estamos todos. Es difícil. Suerte, bro. Míralo. How do you feel? Sad, because for us, we're not escaping anything. We're doing this for a completely different reason. Just documenting. We're documenting the stories, but that's important. Vale, 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 vale. Los pasajeros del bote número 5, atentos al llamado. Four machines in the back, Yamaha. They make so much money out of this situation, guys. Vamos, señor Calvo. Vamos, señor Timmy. We all paid here the mafia to get us from the one place to the other and then to the jungle. Pure human trafficking. Things here are very intense, man. We're in this town, Kapurgana. Since yesterday, it's been one day, and we're trying to look different ways, different routes to get into the jungle. So now, guys, we're one of the mafia guys. He told us let's get another route, all the way to Darien. Esta manilla se la van a poner cuando estén en carreto que ya me lo reciba el guía. Allá. Cuando ya lo reciba el guía que los va a recibir allá, lo va a recibir un señor que se llama Juan López. Lo tiene, lo tiene. Juan López. Esto, esto guárdenlo bien, no se lo dejen ver de la guardia ni nada. No, no, se lo ponen allá. Se lo ponen allá. Guárdenlo bien Guárdenlo. guardado, que no se lo eh, pidan allá. Juan López. Solo con él. Solo con él. No se preocupe. Cuando ya estén dos días. con Juan López, cuando ya estén con Juan López, se ponen la manilla. Cuando estén en la casa de él. Ok, ya. gracias, señor. Now we're doing it. So now I'm just going me and Mr. Bolt 
We don't know where we're going. We just trusted the random mafia guy, smuggler. We paid him a couple of bucks. Loads of actually. And now we hope all good. Oh my God, man. Where we're going now, we're gonna see an indigenous guy, it's called Juan Lopez. We have some specific braces that Boldy saved in his pocket. We got some extra, extra money to give to him. And we just go. Basically now that's human trafficking in real life. Now it's over. Now anything we do is completely illegal. We have the same luck as the average Venezuelan, Iranian, or Pakistani or Vietnamese immigrant. And we hope all good. What's happened? Broke? Oh, mate, the machine is broken. This part is shit. Nice start. Nice start. Fuck. Bro, you know what scares me? Why were the only one? We're supposed to be with many dudes. Guys, that's what scares me, man. We're supposed to be with a lot of immigrants. 2,000 people are crossing daily Darien jungle. Guys, I swear to God, we never ask for privacy. We want to be with the immigrants like yesterday in a place you saw. No life jacket, nasty, deadly boat, 80 year old driver. Fuck. Ahora, donde? Ah, ahorita, sí, donde? ahorita, ahí te están esperando ya. Yeah. Te embarcan en otro bote y te llevan allá. We arrived in a small beach town that hopefully we're gonna meet some other mafia guys that will take us from here. Well, this thing is like a movie, man. We got caught from the Panamanian army, man. And now they send us back to Colombia. We spent the whole night on a Panamanian prison. Because obviously we entered the country illegally. The army got us, put us in this nasty cell. It really felt like a movie. I was scared, Benny was scared. We couldn't phone call anyone. And now they decided they deport us. They said, if they catch us again, we're gonna have to pay thousands of dollars fine. Because what we did yesterday was human trafficking. Mate was human trafficking. So now, obviously, we don't want to give up. We came here for a reason. So basically today, a few hours before, we found another smuggler, mafia guy. Which, we have to trust him. And he said there's another way to go to Darien, with some motos. We're gonna go tomorrow, find the camp, base camp of other immigrants, and then we start the Darien Gap journey. They told us it's very dangerous, extremely dangerous, especially for us gringos, who might never make it, who can get robbed, kidnapped, or even killed. It's not a joke, I'm scared, but because I'm Mr. Bold, who's even worse than me, <laughs> reckless, guys, he's reckless. That's why he's the top G of traveling, actually. I cannot disappoint him, and we decided we're gonna give it a try, trust another smuggler, and we're gonna do it again. Let's try. Again tomorrow, bro. Amigos, it's almost 1 a.m. We're still waiting for the Mafia guy to confirm us that we're gonna go and do the second secret route to enter Darien jungle. It's pure stress, because we don't know what's happening. We already paid. Okay, well, then... Let's see something. I'm going to go to the door. Let's see. You know that if you don't go to the door, it's because no one was out. Tomorrow we organize it early. You see, he said, keep waiting, you can get rest, but maybe it's been cancelled, which means again we lost our money. But that's how it works, guys, that's how mafia works. You pay, if it happens, good. If it doesn't happen, you have to change the route, pay again. So how can I sleep when I know anytime he can knock the door and we go straight to the jungle? Reggaeton por siempre, bad money, new album, just got released. It and that gives me strength. Guys, 
already an accident. We fell down with a motorman. I got injured right here. Okay, we're in the end, dentro, no? Yes. Yes. Guys, now our lives is on the hands of actually these guys. There is no loss here anymore. And the only, my only guarantee is the money I paid. Guys, we made to the first camp, man. We can barely film here because full of smugglers and mafia. But yeah, we're gonna stay here for the rest of the night. How do you Señor Pagalvo? I mean, it was a little bit scary when the guy in the cafe, I'll explain. We went to a cafe, you just here, cafe shed, and the guy was like, you're French? I went, no. He went, you're German? Definitely German. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 Señor, I'm Russian. But it made the um, car. That's then. why I've taken off my things. I look too French, like I've got a cravat. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we had to do some method of acting for like 10 minutes. The guy was asking us a lot of questions, where we're from, and Bold was saying he's Russian. I also said I'm Russian, and Bold is my uncle, and how I learned Spanish. I was in Canary Islands for a year, illegally, and that's how I learned Spanish. And also I love reggaeton, I told him, and we broke the ice a little bit <laughs> with a smuggler. What's your name, señor? Luis Rodriguez. Luis, you're Timmy. 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 It's a gusto. <laughs> Guys, señor Rodriguez is going to fix my leg, man. He wants me to do this. Ah, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Vale. Yeah, I'm gonna squirt it. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I can't touch that. I'll fucking kill you. Aye, man. Oh, you gonna rea for the food? Bro, it's painful. <laughs> I think that he helped us, man. Is anyone the mafia behind me now? No. Behind me now. No. Guys, now I wanted to make the tent. I have no clue how to do it, bro. Do you? No clue, right? No idea. Do you wear it? I don't know what you do. And you just lay down. Okay, I'm gonna help him. Fuck it. So put your one in the hole there. Look there. Next Two of us, Timmy. Oh, shit, Two man. six foot five people in a children's tent <laughs> that they bought from Toys R Us. Guys, next to me, all the smugglers on the right side. The old ceiling listening to music. And basically, they're in charge of us right now. If they decided we do something bad, filming or they feel scared, they have the right to even kill us or harm us. So right now here in the middle of Darien, the only thing that keeps us alive and safe is this little, little brace that proves we are protected from the cartel. Maybe get some coffee. How do you feel, Senor Bold? Tired, but um, excited. We're about to live in a bit. I'm scared. I'm still worried every minute. Stay low key. We'll see how it goes. It's fucking difficult, man. Eh? It's full of mafia, man. Checking on us. Guys, we made it to the Panama Colombia border. All illegal. Ben, how you feel, man? Huh? How you feel? Yeah, I feel. No, I don't know. I'm still Gavrid. No, so good. So good. It's only going to get harder. Bro, it's full of kids and people. This is really history that we're witnessing here. All these people leaving different countries, but we're going to one place with one dream. Yeah, it's um, USA. 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 Oh, shit. Non stop walk through the Darien jungle. Guys, we can barely feel him because the mafia guys are around us all the time. 
Nee, du lässt das filmen. Don't forget, this is not a easy, chilled track. This is human trafficking in real life. Ay. Saluda. A mi mamá de Rusia. Sí. Mucha basura, ¿no? Sí, sí. Hay so many. Mr. Bold, how do you feel? It's exhausted, afraid. Um, yeah, just want to get moving again. When you stop, is when you start thinking. This place is a disaster, bro. We need to stay in this place for the next 15 hours. Señor Calvo, Señor Timmy. Taking us, walking around, it's a constant stress. But literally in the hands of the smugglers. Anytime our identities can be exposed, and then the worst can happen. Full of trash, because people come here every day. That's a, this is our camp, so look at all the trash here. Contamination of the jungle. Salud, Arusia. Many people have lost their lives on this route here, which I saw a dead body. Aquí, pasando la montaña, cansado, pero vamos bien con nuestro amigo y colega ruso. Saludos, vamos bien. Vamos, bro, vamos, poco a poco. It's a dead body, mate. Another one. Huh? El famoso ruso. Привет всем, привет. Матч карепичку матре на пуши ми курац. Guys, last night, as I said, I couldn't sleep at all. It was the stress, the most stressful day of my life. We got the mafia guys following us in every step. They put me in a corner and they were asking questions. Why you're here? Why you filming all this kind of stuff? I freezed cold. When I stopped filming, I was scared to death because they also said Ojo al Rujo, which means have an eye on the Russian guy. Be careful, bro. Cuidado, bro. Poco a poco. Listo morir. We're the first persons, all of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, like ten persons who made it first. More caminates are coming. So now we have a bigger group, which is safer for us. Because they told us, since now we have no mafia around us, anytime indigenous people can show up out of nowhere, like in the movies, and rob all of us. So it's good to have more people coming in case of an indigenous robbery. Así es. Así, Ronaldo, ¿cómo? Ooh, he did it. Darien, bro, lo logramos. Y ahora el otro hermano. Y Messi, ¿cómo hace? Así. Bold is helping the kids. Man, this is very dangerous, guys. I cannot believe how we're gonna make it. All these families with the kids, carrying loads of stuff. Crazy, we just help two kids. We cannot help everyone. Guys, two kids, man. Let's go help them, man. Fuck, enough filming. Enough filming, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go.
we're just crossing rivers. Man, it's super difficult. People have died this way. I was very stressed before. We were helping people non-stop. Babies were screaming, women were screaming, and all of us, the men, were trying to help them. Nightmare. Oh, insane. I've never seen anything like it. Ten times worse than I was imagining. We're stuck here. We need to go after there. I've lost completely bold. Maybe I'm two hours behind because I'm with all the kids. Vamos. It's very, very dangerous, guys. Look at this woman. She got injured yesterday. Now she's still struggling. We all of us help her, but we cannot help her all the time. Espera que te ayude. We have 20 minutes more of daylight, so we have to stay here. Mate, we're destroyed, man. Look how clean our water. Basically, we throw this little pastilla, peel. So the water from the Rio, which is super dirty, they say now it's gonna be clean. They say, supposedly. You're supposed to wait half an hour, then you can drink it. Let's yes. See. Vamos a ver. 12 more hours in this tent. Hopefully, tomorrow we're done. Which is our biggest fear. Have another day in the jungle. Senor Bolt eating breakfast in the jungle of Darien. Would you give to Timmy some tuna? No. Jimmy gave away one of our cans of tuna to a random camel. He said, yeah, have a can of tuna. So now I'm going to go hungry today because he gave away my tuna. <laughs> yeah, that was my mistake, man. Guys, in the jungle, if you're with your partner, soldier, you have to ask before you do something. I didn't ask him. I just gave out the tuna to a random guy. My fault. He's right. We are the first group, the first seven out of 500 that are behind us. Senor Bolt is leading the team. That is juggle contamination, guys. The thing is, you cannot blame the immigrants. All they try to do is to escape their countries and find a better life. Now we are a bit worried, guys, because we are only seven of us far away from the other groups. And people are scared, including me, that we might get robbed. Because this is Darien Gap jungle. Anytime you can get robbed from an indigenous community, we are crossing alone. Everyone told us, stay with a group of 50, 30, or even 100 people. That's when you're 100% safe. But you go a lot slower. Apparently we value speed over safety a little bit. Last night I saw Google Maps where we are and I freaked out a little bit guys because we are literally in the middle of nowhere in Panama, in Darien Gap. And right now we have no more guides, no more mafia, no more smugglers. We're just alone. We follow these blue bugs, means we're on the right path. As you can see, man, we find more people trying to cross the river. We lost the Venezuelan group, we lost the Nepal group, and now we joined the IT group. How do you feel, bro? Destroyed, to be honest, it's caught up with me. No food, no sleep. Just walking, walking, walking. Not even know what we're walking to. So we are basically the first people from the West that are not journalists doing this. A suite from Venezuela. Mm. Como es que señor? 
I'm having my, well, my first cigarette. <laughs> sometimes in life, you know what, sorry mum, but sometimes in life you need a cigarette. And if this isn't the moment to have a cigarette, I don't this know what is. This is the time, man. This is the time. Guys, one mistake here and it's done. That's the problem with Darian. No one will help you. If you get injured, you're done. This is not a tour. Whoever makes it, makes it. Whoever cannot make it, will die in the jungle. One mistake and it's over. I see things blurry, man. I don't know where I'm stepping. I think my glycogen level has dropped down. Ooh, I need to stop. I feel like I cannot control my body anymore. Oh, be careful. And every step is my life. I need to stop. We just had our last pieces of food, some crackers and some marmalade. And now that's it, no more food. Hopefully we can make it today, man. We just saw two military people. He said we're not even in the middle of the distance. Now our motivation dropped back to zero because we thought we were gonna make it today. We have no more food. All our clothes are wet. This is where desperation hits you in the jungle. It's endless, and you want to give up. This is insane, guys. There's no end. Oh. Ay. One more dead body. Our feet are wet for the last four days, they never dry. That's how you get diseases and infections and then you get gagrena. On the Russo. On the Russo. Perry. Now we found a Venezuelan group and I will go with them. We have more motivation now. Caracas. <laughs> Mate, Darien Gap is an emotional roller coaster. You go from depression to excitement, depression to excitement. Check this out. This is like Hunger Games in real life, man. There's no going back. There's no guide. It's pure survival mode on. <laughs> we made it, guys. very difficult to cross the river. You have to collaborate. One more time I fell down. Oh shit. I'm tall and I don't like this man. How you feel man? Fuck. One more river. Whoa! You want no rea? Wait, puta! Oof! This is nasty, man! This is... Oh! Fuck! My eye! Mi ojo! The hips are leaving me, guys! There's no end! There's literally no end! Guys, I sprained my ankle very, very badly. Like it hurts a lot. We've been walking for seven hours and still nothing. Nothing. No village. No canoe. No deus caramba. It's unreal, bro. It's unreal. Wow. 
no one can deny we are coming in here. ¿Eso qué? ¿Quién está quemando? ¿Plástico no? Plástico. ¿Para cocinar? Sí, señor. Yeah, as we stay here. Extremely tired. We failed both of our goals of today. We couldn't find the piragua, the cano, nor the indigenous village. So we stay here. That's the only water I have. Nothing else. And we have no food. Zero food, just water. Everything is wet. We have no more clothes, obviously. My feet are burning, same as, as boards. Look, they're bleeding. But we sign up for it. We're aware of that in advance. We read stories about the Aryan jungle, and now we experience it. That's what it takes for the average immigrant who arrives in the United States. This is what they going through before they um, En Envigado, Candolo, conocí. ¿Dónde está el paisa? Yo perreo, intenso. Perreo. Ah, escucha. Peligrosa, de no, na na na. ¿Me no, no. gusta reggaetón? Ay, guys, reggaetón gives me hope and motivation. En Envigado, Candolo, conocimos la costa de vino, ya se viste fino. ¿Tú crees reggaetón? Me amo el reggaetón. <laughs> On camera, off the camera. Cut this shit. Hey, me gusta el reggaetón. ¿Qué tú piensas? Me gusta bailar. No, guys, he likes it. In Medellín, he liked it. We went out, we partied, he liked it. Ay, baby, I'm, I'm shivering, I'm freezing like crazy. Everything is wet. <sighs> It's supposed to be only three days, now it's day six. I sprained my ankle and one mistake can cause my life here. I was talking with Bolt before. If one of us gets hurt, there's nothing he can do, nothing I can do to help him. There's no laws here. In the middle of the jungle, illegally. No one will help you. That's why we saw already six bodies, dead bodies. People bring their kids here, man. This is mental, absolutely mental. One more day, hopefully. One more day. Ay, ay, ay. My ankle is destroyed. We're looking for this indigenous village, if it exists. Oh, we can get some food and water. But we had nothing. God knows what they're escaping, but it must be important. We need to find some water, ASAP. Agua, cabrón. Ánimo, como fuerza. Camino, camino. No, ánimo. Como más fuerza. Sí, ganas. O sea, como meta. 3.5 kilómetros. Después de eso, ¿qué? Llegamos a la pueblo. Se cree que llegamos al pueblo a las piraguas. So, yeah, guys, they say 3.5 kilómetros to arrive somewhere. Maybe to, to this village. Oh. Mira, felicidad. Sí, felicidad. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster, guys. We hear some good news, we get happy. Then we see that it's fake news, depression. No, no, no. Que tu amigo le dio re duro al camino. Fuck, imagine that. The weather thing. They said, be careful for the snakes here. Oh, mate. Hopefully there's no anacondas here. First of all, we cannot see it. Oh, exactly. Second of all, what do we can do if he appears? I don't know. Maybe we see Jennifer Lopez here. <laughs> My gosh, anything can be here. Oh guys, this indigenous guy says there is agua over there. I don't know if it's true. Let's hope it's a good water. Oh. Guys, that was the greatest water I've ever had. No water for a day and a half. 
finally. Behind these bushes, I see some rooftops. This is like a dream, man. This is like a dream. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my God. Paradise on Darien. The first form of civilization. After five days. Feels like paradise on Earth. Okay. 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 I'm Greek, he's British, and hopefully all good. Bro, nunca olvidé. Mira, ahorita cuando se nos juntamos otra vez. Sí, vamos a comer algo, no sé qué. Oh, guys, I'm looking for shoes, man. Some Crocs, because my feet are bleeding. There's a box Guys, I have bad eating my wounds. Look at this shit. I'm almost dead, mate. Go away. You don't go away, I think I'm dead. I think my feet are dead. We've got gangrene. Wow. Look, same color. My feet are dead. <laughs> Hopefully all good. Oh yeah, let them breathe a little bit. Let those wounds heal. Guys, I bought these shoes last year. I survived the Darien and now we can rest in peace. Yeah, because I came here to the Red Cross and hopefully they can help me with my wound. It's been five days in the water, full of mud. They gave me this thing, this thing, and this thing for all of my wounds. Look at here. Guys, we met to the camp. I'm not gonna stay here for the whole day. Translate this what you're saying, but the girl he's with broke her legs in the mountains. No. Where are they? I'm here for a day and a half. I'm here for a day and a half. Are they going to get here? I hope. Is your friend? Yes. Hello, brother. Bro, how are you? Okay. Pleased to stay. Hi. Everything is good. Good, man. We made it, bro. Mate, what do you think about this place? I think it's like something like a, well, something I've never seen before. It's something like out of the Bible, like biblical times. It's um, just people wandering around, not sure what to do, just relieved to cross the daddy in and arrive safely, just like we are. But um, yeah, it's a crazy place. Here they must oh, look up here. Hey, look up here. <laughs> Our friends, mate. Fuck. <laughs> we met so many people on the journey. Fuck. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Sí, Ronaldo. A ver otro. Messi, ¿cómo hace Messi? Vamos, Costa Rica. Muy fuerte. Los dos guerreros. Guerreros los dos. Muy pronto. You made it, bro. Casi me muero allá. ¿Cómo? Casi me muero. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? Ayer. ¿Qué te pasó? ¿Estabas solo solo? Me desmayé solo en unas piedras y todo el mundo pasaba y nadie, marica, nadie, todo el mundo. Yo así dormido pálido. Una señora llegó y me tocó, me levantó, me dio sí, suero, es... me dio suero y me dio panela. ¿Quién? Una persona. Una, señora, una venezolana. ¿Estás pues muerto solo? Sí. Porque caminé mucho y no comí. Cinco. Uh. 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 Sin carpa, dormí sin carpa, otra vez. Como sí, sin, sin nada, sin. No, no, la gente no le regalaron una. Al lado, en el río, en las piedras, ahí en las piedras. Así. Donde yo te vi ayer. Mire, durmiendo yo encima de las piedras. Ahí estaría yo enfermo que se acostaba encima de las piedras. Pero otro. ¿Aquí qué pasó? Nada, ¿no? ¿Te registraron en todo? ¿Usted? Sí, lo mismo, todo Melo. Melo. Con la sonrisa, Melo. Behind every smile you see here, there's a crazy story. Si tú eres venezolano o un inmigrante en USA, y si has been through Darien, please, give him a handshake o get him a drink. I will truly appreciate it. Okay guys, so basically you're gonna stay here, spend the night, and tomorrow boat will come to take us to the next immigration camp point. Good morning. I love I you. Five. You are beautiful. 
I can barely walk. Yeah, guys, now we're gonna enter the canoes. And I think that it's gonna be a four hour trip. Oh, don't say that. Less? Oh, I hope so. Four hours in one of them. It's terrible, mate. Let's get back. That is not gonna be comfortable. Oh my god, I'm behind Bolt. Oh my god. That's dangerous. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, and he's got like a Guys, that's the ultimate and the last indigenous village. They say that Yen is not a normal route. It's one of the most dangerous places in the world. And I think we've crossed it. As you can see, people that just finished Darien now, they washing themselves, other people eating. The place looks like a shithole, human shit everywhere, terrible situation. But yeah, all of these people have one dream to go to USA. Day seven. I'm sick. Se violaron la mujer del hombre y el hombre se puso bravo. Se puso bravo. Estaba viendo cómo estaban violando a una mujer. Yo me imagino. Al frente de él. Al frente de él, así. Y estaban violándola y el tipo, yo creo que tanta impotencia, tanta broma, le dio fue por... Y la agarraron. ¡Pam! Ahí le metieron. Los haitianos mataron a una familia de haitianos por no saber hablar. Nosotros, no. nosotros cuando pasamos lo que íbamos a puro muerto, puro muerto, puro muerto. Estaba una niña así y la mamá así. Sí. En, en posición fetal en una piedra Opa, así y la mamá estaba así también vio las mujeres vio la... yo digo que eso es una ruleta eso es una ruleta así ese Darío hay personas Enche. que no ven nada sí. Sí. yo no yo no vi nada yo no vi nada por eso por eso gracias a Dios usted se trajo su platico a mí fue que me dieron aquí te pegaron no no me dieron, no me pegaron sino que me quitaron mi 280 por eso que estoy vendiendo café por aquí y ese de usted here overnight in the refugee immigration camp. The police and the immigration didn't let us go because me and Ben were, were not immigrants, which now things get complicated. The people from the army and immigration said they've never seen a foreigner from UK or Greece coming to this place and crossing the Aryan jungle. So now even themselves, they don't know what they can do for us because we're basically illegal in their country. So we stay here waiting to see what's gonna happen. Prison, pay a fine, deported. No one really knows because no one has experience of a situation like this, me and Ben. What we just did was probably one of the most dangerous things and risky things I've ever done in my whole life. Guys, I'm not even joking. We've met today and yesterday and the day before so many people that got robbed, a woman got raped, the other guy lost his wife. Indigenous people were waiting in so many different places inside the Darien jungle and they were robbing people, killing people. Basically, me and Ben, we played Russian roulette and we got lucky. And I don't encourage anyone ever to do this thing that we just did, me and Ben, unless you have necessity and you know that you might die.
second day in Panama prison. They brought us here yesterday. It is absolutely terrible. It's full of army people that are f***ing cunts. Prison. Prison. Literally a prison. Fence here. Guards patrolling over there. In the field. So yeah, they're over there. So... And they're cunts. Prison. Nine o'clock. There's an alarm. So we have to sleep with closed lights in a room of 200 people, 9 p.m. They were not allowed to go out until 6 a.m. As you can see guys here, Mr. Bolt is the president and mayor of the concentration camp. Nothing to do but smoke. This is actually the area where all of us were allowed to smoke. Digo que solo aquí podemos fumar, no? Solo aquí podemos fumar. Porque ahí no los dejan, men, nos pegan. Ay, bro, ayer dijeron que pusieron spray unas personas en el baño. Es cierto, ¿no? Y agarraron a Chino también fumando en el baño. Hay que tumbar el gobierno de Maduro. Maduro. Maduro, con tu madre. These guys now are trapped here. They got robbed in Darien. So now they have no money. So they cannot go to Costa Rica. 9 p.m. is shouting to us, go to sleep. Time to sleep then. Now they're gonna come inside and check us. Fucking guards. It's terrible. It's terrible, man. You see, guys, whole family is living now. Sneakily. From behind. If they get caught, they're gonna be deported back to Venezuela, man. It's super stress. The kids, the whole family. Hopefully they can make it now somehow, mate. In a finca de droga. De mata de, de coca. De coca. De cocaína. Cocaína, pero... Ah, tú trabajabas en una finca de coca. Eso, no. Es para... Yo me metí... Yo cuando emigré en el 2018... Miren los que deportaron. Yo me metí los para allá. Para allá había mucho trabajo. Y Hay era bueno malandro, porque usted se porta... Malandro, Hay guerrilla. Malandro, pero si claro. usted se porta bien y malandro, siempre malandro. es decentico, usted no le pasa nada para allá. Nada. Una no, no, mata. Tú la raspas la hoja. La cocaína. La hoja. Y tú la metes en una estopa y el dueño de esa vaina la vende a un laboratorio. Pero siempre hay gente con armas ahí, ¿no? Claro, por ahí hay manes en uniformado, Bandidos. así como, sí. Como de, ejército, pero de... imagen de la ley. Puros manes en camuflajeado que llaman la ley. ¿De narcotraficantes? Sí, claro. Sí. ¿Es un mate? Señor Calvo, brotas coffee. ¿Puedes echarte azúcar? Mm. Shit, but it's the best thing we can get here. Yeah. I'm having a little breakfast. We're making the most of life in the camp. Why are you going there? Where are you from? Aquí estamos, guys. Encontramos la colombiana. Sí, mira, mira que también cómo cambió la foto. ¿Sabes? ¿Sabes cómo se da? Ay, con Norrea. Uf. Aquí en la prisión de Panamá. Uf. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Arianna colombiana. Natalie. Natalie. Yo Timmy. Y Benjamín. Repito, se le va a entregar al puerto y cena de una vez. Lunch and dinner at the same time. Ya pa qué? Guys, that's our food. With some nasty chicken that I ate and out some rice. ¿Te gusta el pollo, amor? Suave. Suave. Ella siempre está feliz, ¿no? Sí. Para Colombiana es normal. Yeah. Colombiana siempre positiva. Guerrera. Power Puff Girl. Ah, se papi. Vamos a ir a Bucati. Ella va a los South. Mira cómo abre la cara, hombre. Friday night here in the immigration prison. Con mi amiga, señorita. Natalie. Y el chamo. Y el chamo Anuel. Te quiero sin ropa por el pantycala. I told you, one day I'm gonna make Bold the Backrap dance. And I think today we achieved it. De Londres a petare. Así es. Malandro, siempre. Vamos, chamos. Reggaeton por siempre. One more day here, guys. This guy, amigos, is from IT. Lost daughter, mother, and sister. And he has probably the saddest story I've ever heard of Darien. We've been trapped here for the last seven days. The time goes so slow. We have basically no rights. We're almost kidnapped in this place. We cannot escape, we cannot leave. And the majority of the guards are treating us like shit. Literally like animals. Feels surreal, feels like a movie. But after a few days here, 
it's not always bad. We also have some good moments. <laughs> No lo comes. En el día de lo conocí. Fucking prison, mate. But we still find these little moments of happiness. We still don't know how I'm gonna be here, man. Man, I can't do more days here, man. It's impossible. You cannot sleep the whole night, man. Salva la vida, por favor. Amigos, finally, man. After six or seven days, seven days. Seven days, exactly. Finally, man, we leave. If everything goes by the plan, as they said, they're gonna leave us to the Costa Rican border. We've been riding the bus for 14 hours, and still we haven't reached the Panamanian Costa Rican border. This is the worst night of my life, and I've had some bad bus rides in my life. Nothing ah. as bad as this. Terrible, man. But we flow always. Always we flow. All these buses are immigrant buses. It's a convoy of immigrant buses, and now we made a little stop somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Panama. There's over 30 buses, and there's a police car in the front that leads the way, and all of us are following. cabrón. Now we can officially guys say we've made it. Darien Jungle Panama Nightmare Experience, it's over.